Do you know, you can't have uh, a webinar at the moment without talking about open banking and VRPs. Mm. And the third of those things is fraud. Now, mm. we all know the eye-watering levels of fraud that we see here in the UK. We know that authorised push payments fraud is an absolute issue that many people are trying to, to, to crack. Has, has request of, as an open question, I guess, Peter, has request to pay got a part to play in thwarting the fraudster? hundred uh, percent. And 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 I think the, the challenge is that, you know, there are no silver bullets to this particular problem. I think there are going to be many um, uh, things that will actually help bring this number down. I think to be clear, though, there are definitely things that, that don't help. And what those is actually send out messages and, and emails with payment links in them, which convince customers that it's normal to receive a payment request on a text message or an email. Banks know these channels aren't safe, so they shouldn't be using them. I think that's uh, something that, that I hope the regulator will, will take action on, as they have done in other markets, such as Singapore. Um, and I mean, that's a really great example, because where in Singapore they've banned the use of uh, banks using um, email and SMS for clickable links, what they've advocated it's, it instead is this app-to-app -app payments. Um, so again, from a corporate bank app, you, um, as a biller, you could make a, a request to pay and that message be received in the consumer bank app um, for the consumer to, to interact with. And again, this comes back to that idea I said at the very beginning in terms of what is request to pay. It's that two-way messaging process between those secure applications where you know the identity of that biller. And that's really important with authorized push payment frauds because how many times have we received one of those messages from HMRC or the post office, actually it isn't them, it's a fraudster trying to impersonate them. Remember these guys, these fraudsters, it's a percentages game. So they will target big brands and they will send out hundreds, if not thousands of these messages, trying to get a small percentage of those customers clicking on those links. So the more we can work with those big brands to cut off that avenue, such as we're doing with British Gas, I think that you know, we can really help uh, alleviate that fraud problem.